Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my Let's Play of Shadowrun Returns. Right, last time we'd gone through a particularly taxing battle, which was mostly silent with clicks and breathing, which I shall try and rectify from now on. And now I'm going to see if we can... Can we not get around there? No. Okay. So, our quests... We've got to search the spot where the victim's body was found now. We've done everything else. I would love, absolutely love, to try and... Uh, any, anything at all, item-wise, I'm missing. I would absolutely love to try and get into that room. Now I have a decker though, I suppose. I can try that if the option's still there. Is there a chance of me still being able to do that, or is that gone? That appears to be gone, unfortunately. Oh well, let's just search the area. Great, we found DNA evidence. Blood. This is what the spirits wanted us to find. A piece of my brother's killer. It's not much, but it's enough. She scowls at it, looking every bit like she intends to reach through the small sample and dismember its owner from afar. Perhaps she can. Can you track him with that? I can, given enough time. But I'm still feeling quite drained. I'll need to rest before I try anything so involved. When I'm able, I'll commune with Bear, consult the spirits, and do what must be done. But in the meantime, you might take some por portion of the sample to pursue a more conventional avenue of attack. I have some friends who might be able to help. Good, let me know if you learn anything about this elf and troll pair. And should you find them, I want to be there when they are brought low. I want to see the light leave them at their eyes for my brother. There's no one else I'd rather have by my side. Excellent. So... Right, I'm going to save it now. Oh, I've got 13 karma to, to spend. Not sure exactly where that came from. Confirm. Let's head back to the seamstresses. After hours. When you return to the seamstresses union in the early hours of the morning, it seems a completely different place. Bereft of the normal crowd that haunts it, the bar feels desolate, almost abandoned. It's eerie, like the back hallways of hotels and shopping malls. But you finally have a break in your case. A sample of the Ripper's blood. You just need to find someone to help you analyse it. And I think the doctor under the downstairs can help with that, probably. Yeah. This computer is in the back. Okay. Ah. Well, at least they've got some dartboards, that's nice. Gathered around the internet back bar, Mrs. Kabuda and her coterie gather for breakfast with the lady herself doing the cooking. The smell of soy calf and something resembling sausages fills the room. Hello, hey, Mr. Clee. Can I talk to you? Evening, ma'am. What's the word around town, Mr. Clee? There's been more talk of the Ripper killings. Some people are saying they hate crimes on account of the victims all being human. What if I told you the prime suspects were an elf and a troll? It still doesn't mean that the killings are racially motivated. People are just too quick to label something a hate crime. Ah, oh, I misread that, unfortunately. I... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Check the census. The city is still 66% humans. Close your eyes and throw a rock, you're more likely to hit a human. Doesn't make it a hate crime. Still a crime, though, and that should be enough. This is the first real rise you've seen out of Mr. Cluey, but he reins himself in with a roll of his thick shoulders and a smoothing of his jacket. Don't worry, not going to start throwing rocks. Wouldn't want to reinforce the stereotype. I'll leave you to your business, man. Damn it. Sorry about that, Cluey. I really misread the uh, the whole point of that conversation. Oh, hi-oh. Would you like some? She stops. Forgive me, Ome, but you look like hell. I've been working, Mrs. Kubota. 
She looks you over, noting the signs of your nocturnal activities. She nods. And run. Any run you can walk away from is a good run. Perhaps when the other team doesn't walk away. No other folly. I can tell you've been busy, and I can see by the look on your face that there is something you need. Is this about the Ripper? Yep, I found some DNA evidence and need help analyzing it. That is excellent. I will unlock the piano so you may go downstairs. I am certain someone in the safe house will be able to help you if they are awake. It is likely you will visit the Matrix before the day is done. May I take a sausage? Take the whole plate. Oh, that's nice of her. Okay, I am going to spend a bit of my karma. I've got 17 karma. I'm not a close combat person. I'm not an intelligent person, although anyone listening can probably hear that one. So strength is relatively pointless since there's no... Um, is there anything interesting with strength? Nothing for strength. Not interested in throwing weapons. My decking is non-existent. Okay. Okay, so I've got to check. I've got to rem make sure I remember these summoning point things. Because I missed one in the last battle and I could have summoned something from it. But now, being able to summon two of them. New etiquette. Let's get corporate. And conjuring. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, should I do something with ranged combat? Never hurts to have an additional weapon slot. Pistol. Call the girl. Do I or do I need the dodge? Yeah, I'll get a dodge. Yep, I get an extra weapon slot and a spell slot. Okay, that's not bad. No cyberware. Don't need anything yet. Okay. handle that. Yeah. Extra dodge. Digital, digital world. You've been doing a lot of legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace and back to the ID, and back to ID the Ripper. The Matrix. The cybernetic analog ins of inside the grid. The worldwide computer network. A digital world can information brought to life. Inside cyberspace, your avatar does all the work whilst your meat body is left behind. All around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counter-intrusion programs, and other jacked-in runners. Cyberspace has as many dangers as the meat world and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures and black IC that can fry a Decker's brain. Every movement you make in the Matrix can be tracked, if you aren't careful. Get dumped shocked out and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy Decker and you can die. Well that's good because I've just spent all my karma and I have zero decking skill. David Fry the second. Morning. You look like you've been up all night. Johnny Clean. You look like you've seen some action too. I suppose I could use a shower. You here to buy equipment? Negative. Need a DNA analysis. Or I can help you out. Hmm. Doc Castle's equipment isn't really set up for that. You can sit us for a minute. However, I could employ a semiconductor chip. Could decode DNA using a voltage charge instead of light. That would eliminate the use of highly expensive equipment and would uh, be required otherwise. He brightens. I just read a journal about it, so the information's still fresh. Frankly, should be easy. What do you want to know about it? 
Yeah, his identity. Nah, that's beyond me. All I can get you is the gene sequence. But that's where I come in. David, if you can give me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we can track its owner down by our matrix run. Will do. Let me have the DNA you want to test. Give Fry the blood sample. Even star, when David gives me the sam sequence, I'll jack in and help you trace the blood sample back to its source. Thanks, guys. If this works, we may find the Emerald City Ripper. No drag. He turns to Johnny excited. Wake up, Johnny boy. We got work to do. And even star, if you need any gear, I'll be right here. I just got a second win. Meet you at my rig, even star. Okay. So, right, I'm just going to go over here, check my stash. So, I'm going to grab that. Let's see if I can sell anything, because I'm probably running down on cash. Let's take a look. Yeah. I need decking. I need decking one desperately. Okay. Let's spend some karma. So, we've now got a bit of decking. Very little of anything else, but we've got a bit of decking. So now... Now I can... Buy this. Three programs. Can I get this? Ah, there's an ESP. I don't know what any of these mean. Probably need that as well. Okay, let's go. I think I probably just wasted a lot of money there, but okay. Have I not got, um, okay, well, mm. fair enough. Let's talk to Mr. Van Grass. I've got a flight recorder. Wouldn't happen to be an airy flight recorder, would it? Very powerful buyers looking for that right now. I can get rid of it for you for say 20%. That leaves 2,000 for you. Corporate elite. 
Seven and a half thousand. So well, that's that's definitely um, about six thousand yen now. This is good. Still things to clean. Thanks to that semiconductor-based gene sequencing system that David employed, we should have the information we need to track the Ripper in the matrix. That's great, Professor. What's the plan? We hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prior criminal record. They have an extensive DNA ar archive. Then we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the decks and jack in the matrix. I can get you into that private grid easy, but i got to warn you, once we're in, it could get a little rough. How much decking experience have you had? Literally none. Um. I don't understand what's happening. What's happening? Why am I in combat? Oh, that's him. Okay. Your synapses light up as you connect your consciousness to the digital world. Although you aren't jacked in like Johnny, the sensation is overwhelming and electrifying. You can only imagine the way it feels for him. That arch will take us to the next node. Interesting. Okay. I, I did the combat silence again. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> okay, subject Silas Forsberg, status deceased, profession chop shop, surgical assistant, breaking and entering two counts, public indecency one count, brought in for questioning, iron accusations of unlicensed plastic surgery, no charges were filed. Represent match to a dead man. Best keep looking.
think I'm gonna die here. Basically, it's just running, hiding, and hitting. And hoping. Let's hack this. Use net one, return on subject. Silas Forsberg, body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Snohomish earlier, than this week, earlier this week. The body had been there for as long as a month when Forsberg's landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide, according to reports. His body and massive puncture wounds and the cause of death were determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated employee, although he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed to his estate has located a well will written weeks prior, leaving all of his belongings to his psychiatrist. The identity of the, identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Yet another sad end to a life. This is far too common here in the sprawl. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna quickly save this. And then go through again. Over here. Whoa. What are they going to do? Okay, so basically it looks like this is the way to do it, is, is come out, since I've got three action points, fire, and then go back into hiding. So, that's what I'm doing. They can't do anything about it. It's cheap. No, but there's not much else I can do. Uh, I should be able to win if I keep doing this. It can't get to me, so I'm just going to keep on doing it. It's, it's cheesy, but it seems to be a valid tactic. I want to get all of these records. Okay. Autopsy records. Subject, Silas Forsberg. Notes, subject was found overdosed on half a dozen different sedatives. Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, probably self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to the disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next of kin. Okay. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body, possibly large bore surgical needles. The body had been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. Okay, let's get out of here. 
So here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which which the living guy you met. Newsnet says he left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who the psychiatrist is will give us the next clue. My gut says we can deck it to the medical board's records and reverse trace this to find the doctor. You in? Give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Okay, and by collect my thoughts, I mean save the game. Okay, so I can't go in, but he can. Okay, Johnny Clean. Damn it. Did it again. Damn it. Basically, it was the, just the same tactic. Shoot and hide. State medical board. Searching medical records. Silas Forsberg. Medical records located for Silas Forsberg. Pediatric record. One, reason, one, particular pediatrician, one particular pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety most likely caused by physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently with the outbreak of changeling children being born. With the aberrant physiology we're seeing, there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seemed to have no effect upping the dosage. 2030 to 2030, data missing or corrupted, contact your administrator for help. 2040 to present. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. Final entry, however, is the most significant. Written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medications are proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proven, proven challenging. He is bonded to me in an unhealthy and frankly unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimic speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason, and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to the case, and I will inform him of his next section. Well, I'm assuming he's taken over the identity of the doctor. In which case... All right, let's save again. Sorry, <laughs> I keep doing it. Or rather not doing it in terms of vocalising what's happening. But that's primarily, I'm assuming this is the um, the, da the hack danger. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. That's... Missed! Missed! Good. 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 Oh, brilliant news. Right. Let's scrub this kid. Excellent. One more hit. Come on. Don't kill me now. Damn it. Oh, he missed too. Come on. This is literally just a slug first. 
Oh, come on! Okay, so that's all missed. Right, let's get to the medical board number two. Employment records located Henry Hollings home at Henry Hollings Homes, MD. Doctor of Psychology, I believe that is. Check current employment status. Current employment status. Dr. Henry Holmes currently holds the position of Chief Psychiatrist and Administrator at Mercy Mental Hospital, Snohomish, Washington, UK. Check previous employers. Previous employers, Psychiatrist and Resident Mercy Mental Hospital, Snohomish, that's now. Attending Psychiatrist, Mercy Mental Hospital. Okay, so basically, yeah. Back to meat space. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. Reality is at the end of the day contextual. And as the meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle on which world is the real one. While the philosophical, well, the philosophical question lingers as your meat body demands food and drink, you disconnect from your deck to find the Union's safe house has risen. Ha! Huh. I didn't actually do any of that at all. It was all him. Okay, Grooveman. Let's see what you... Um, oh, I need hardcore ranged combat for that one. Um, more damage, less capacity. Do I get it? Or should I get it? Medium range, but much higher damage. Right, let's sort out my stash first. I want to sell. So, right. Okay, so that's oh, uh, good, 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 good. Right, 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 right. Confirm. Right, that makes things easier and better. Now, I want to talk to you, Doctor Sarah. I want to have a data jack. Go back to this, see if I can do anything with my jack now. Does this need to go here? I have no idea. been a waste of time and or money. Um, let's have a look at you. Power bolt 2. I've got power bolt 1. Increases the damage. Mm, ignores armor. Gives me armor. Mm. 
goodness, I do not know what to get. Yeah, I need spell slots, basically. But, time to spend my karma. Okay, so I've got all the decking I need. Okay, so I've just killed my uh, spell summon by summoning them. Increase the spellbook slot. That's an idea. Tempted to increase my pistol work. Ooh, reloading costs nothing. Well, I'll pop that on then. And I'll quickly save. And I think that's going to be um, pretty much where we leave it right now. I think we've done okay. Um, I slightly corrected my, my lack of talking during combat with that one. Um, but it was so easy to combat, realistically. It's just a case of, I've got three AP, they've got at most two, possibly one. So I've, I've always got two shots and then I run away and hide. So, yeah. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, don't worry. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.